uh, raised in Toledo. Right. Uh, I um, went to Western Military Academy in Alton, Illinois at the age of 12. Um, from that time, uh, I graduated six years later, right in the uh, middle of the uh, Second World War in 1943. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to Officers Candidate School. It was part of the uh, military school, was part of the ROTC. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, mandatory with the government. They had arrangements that anyone that went through ROTC uh, had a mandatory um, right to go to the Officers Candidate School. And I went to the Fort Benning, Georgia and became an, um, an officer. You were going to be the 68th, 50th Internal Security Detachment, International Military Tribunal. You will be administrative people or officers for the prison, administrative. And uh, for the next 10 months, uh, I was, uh, an, well, I started out as assistant operations officer. From there, I went to assistant prison officer. And I remained there up to the last two months of the trial. What we did is, it was our, this detachment, main duty was to make sure that those, all the defendants that were kept healthy, and every morning when the trials were gone, they were up in the courtroom waiting for the trials to begin. At the end of the day, they were brought back down to the prison. Uh, there was a special detachment of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, infantrymen that actually did the guarding. One night, not guard duty, but in the office in the prison, and General von Ruhnstedt, uh, uh was uh, going to be a witness the following day, and he came in uh, into the prison. He was escorted, of course, into the prison office, and um, he had his tunic on. And uh, the rules were that any uh, 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 signet of their what they were, uh, a general, a uh, major, on their tunic, the emblems on their tunic. Uh, the epaulets, uh, they were to be removed. Uh, I was the one that took off General von Ruinstead's no, epaulets. <laughs> uh, I actually t took them home as a souvenir. Yeah, yeah. Your boss was Colonel Burton Andrus. Yes, he was. What was he like? A very interesting uh, man. Uh, he uh, always had a uh, wore a helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, in indoor, outdoor it makes no difference during the day. Um, very positive, um, very nice, pleasant, but 100% Army officer, no question. About it. The night we arrived into um, uh, Nuremberg, my first assignment was Kaltenberger. He was in the hospital, and um, uh, security was very strict and very, very careful. Uh, we did the guarding at the hospital. The uh, infantry soldiers did not do that like in the prison. Uh, that was my, it's quite interesting, you even mentioned no one, I, I couldn't believe you, 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 but I was that one of those that guarded him while he was in the hospital. The psychiatrist and the psychologist were part of Anders' group. Uh, they lived in, the, we lived in the same quarters when we were on duty. Um, I remember Gilbert was one. Right. Talked to him quite a bit, as a matter of fact. I remember Gilbert, basically. What was he like? He wrote a book. He was a character. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert came in my room one night, or one afternoon, I'm taking, I'm, I'm sleeping. And he's the kind of guy, he'd come in, he'd wake you up, he says, Oh, are you sleeping? <laughs> and of course, I would jump all over and what, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to get some rest here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of guy he was here. Very pleasant. Yeah. Very pleasant. Yeah. yeah. I know I saw his book, and most of all those things I did have some documentation on. I mean, I even had the original article. I, of course, uh, of the Jewish faith, 
and I had uh, probably a great deal more concern and interest. Being Jewish and as the trial proceeded and the evidence came out and the movies of the concentration camp and really the extraordinary numbers of individuals, many of them Jewish, who were exterminated in the concentration camp. Was there a sense of revulsion? No, I never really had revulsion. I knew it, I knew, but I personally was a part of history. There was no question about it at the time. And, and I felt uh, honored personally that I was part of it thing that did stick in my mind was that as, as far as a, any particular one that was a leader, Goring was the leader. Right. He was no question about it. He had a dynamic uh, personality. Um, Goring was doing something wrong and I um, called him on it, told him that, no, nah, you can't do that. And he immediately, uh, in Germany, he uh, snapped back at me. Really? <laughs> you know, he'd, he didn't like to be told anything. <laughs> yeah. I decided I will go and take a walk out into the uh, exercise, uh, do that, which was I should be doing occasionally. And um, I had uh, physically learned how to stand on my hands. So um, I was out there, and I have no idea why, where they were walking around in pairs, going, Hess, the whole, oh, shock, uh, uh, spear, all of them. Donald was, I don't know who he was walking with, but um, I did a handstand out there. I mean, young and shy, obviously showing off. <laughs> when I look back on it, it's quite bizarre. Uh, don't you, do you know that Donald did a handstand? No. He repeated. He spoke English very well, and, um, but, um, <laughs> that is big, probably the, the closest I ever came to any of them, really. It was very impressive, very impressive, and very, um, very efficient. It, it was done remarkably well, just remarkable. Uh, it was wonderful to see, and you know, how I, and I, especially when I think back on it, just really what uh, we did. The, in, in the tribunal itself, it's just a remarkable thing. The, the, the trials, and for what I, my own research and in, in being there, uh, I thought that the judgments passed by the four judges was remarkably done and fair, very fair, because. Uh, my, like, uh, I think it was Schock who was there, the, the banker, uh, the German banker, um, uh, like the Federal Reserve of the America. Uh, uh, um, I question that he should be uh, hung. Um, so um, uh, uh, my impression of uh, the, the, the whole picture of the trials, the final ending, the, uh, the those that uh, were hung, in my opinion, should have been hung. Those who were um, uh, only given uh, terms of uh, prison. Um, I thought it was very, very fair, very, very done. I could have done it better myself. <laughs> <laughs>